welcome everybody to this Rhode Island Interscholastic League Division 4 contest between the Cranston East and Johnston Wildcats versus the Roger Vikings. If you're just joining us today, my name is Jake Lamanti, your play-by-play -play announcer. And to my right is Alan Chen, your camera person for today. Right now, the Cranston East Thunderbolts, I meant not the Thunderbolts, the Wildcats are 0-4. Right now, they're in the white and green uniforms, the white jerseys, the green shorts, and the white helmets. And at the other end, we got Rogers in the black and red jerseys, black shorts, and the black helmets. And they are the reigning Division Four champions. They won it last year. Don't go too far. We'll be back after this announcement. to the statement about the 0-4 Wildcats, last loss came from the East Providence Townies, 3-14 of last contest matchup. And Rogers, it's the third game this season, and they're 1-1 one one for their season. The Wildcats' next games are, are against Lincoln, North Providence, and North Smithfield. And Rogers, their next games will be Lincoln away, North Providence at home, and North Smith North Smithfield at home. Thundercats coaches for today's game are head coach Matthew Davis, assistant coach Stephen McGuire, and assistant coach Justin Erickson. Starting goalies for today's contest for Rogers, number zero, Jade Northernup. And for the Thundercats, number eight, Alex Federochik. I hope I'm pronouncing that right. Both teams are doing their starting lineups. Not starting lineups, starting the game right now, doing an introduction to each other.
Today's contest is sponsored by Royal Lacrosse, one of the best manufacturers in lacrosse for gear, sticks, and all other things. Visit RoyalLacrosse.com or Royal Lacrosse near a store near you. Faceoff is getting set between Rodgers and the Thundercats. An impressive win by the Thundercats on the faceoff. Now the Thundercats are charging up the field. And the pass sailed out of bounds, giving Rodgers the ball. Number five of David Rivera will be taking it up the field for the Rodgers Vikings. Rodgers again are taking it up the field. David Rivera. Nice swim dodge by David Rivera, passing it off to one of the attack men. And number 10, with the missed opportunity there, though but Rogers gets the ball back in number seven. Number seven of Rocky Ramsey is taking it back up the field. Passes to number 10, Peter Gee. <laughs> And a short pass to Nick Body Code, though, but he couldn't get it, though, but he recovers it for the Vikings. Body Code. Mr. Body Code trying to do something with it. Keeps getting double teamed by two Thundercat defenders. And number five takes a rip. And nice save by the Thundercats goalie. Nice recover. Nice recovery by number five of Rivera. Though but missed opportunity there, though but Rogers has the ball. Nice defense nice defense by the Wildcats. Nice opportunity, though but couldn't get it through. Though but oh and another missed opportunity, the ball poke check by a Wildcats defender. Number 19 of Justin Espinal is all over David Rivera. Rivera, dodging through the defense. Rivera, shoots and over the head of the goalie in the net. And there's a flag on the play. On number 10 of the Wildcats, Logan Brennan. He's from Johnston. And this team this year is filled with East Kids and Johnston Kids. Man up opportunity for the Rogers Vikings. All alone, shoots, and goes a little bit right. Now we got the Vikings ball again. Pass it to the middle, they'll put, it got, it got choked, but it got choked, pressed away by the Thundercats defender. Now the Thundercats, first opportunity, ball game in the offensive zone. And the Thundercats are battling in the scrum. And nice pickup by the Rogers player. Rivera. Rivera, speed using his strength and his ability to go past the defenders. And he takes it and he rips it. My apologies, it's not Rivera. It's number nine of Luke Matthew. Matthew's doing it for the Vikings.
9.15 left to go. Now we got number three, three Jacob Spinelli going up against number 15, JV and Perez on the faceoff. Spinelli already has one win on the faceoff today, and there's his second win. No, but there's a ground ball pickup by Matthews. Matthews is charging the way up the field for the Vikings. Passes it off. It's shot and goal! And number 12, Max Martinland. Putting putting this game up two to zero for for the Vikings. Face off getting set once again. And Mr. Spinelli again won the face off. Nice ground pick up by Spinelli. Seeing it from Johnston. Nice defensive poke by the by the Vikings. Wildcats trying to do something here while they have the ball in the offensive zone. Miss pass there. And nice check. Nice check by number two of Jaden Kaganon, though, but it wasn't out of bounds at number twenty-four. Jaden McDonald has the ball. Matthews. Martin Lane has the ball. Back to Matthews. Coaches are urging the Vikings player of number number 18, Anderson, to shoot the ball, though, but he doesn't do it. Number nine, Matthews trying to shoot it, though, but it goes off of a Wildcats defender. Matthews. Nice, nice defensive check by the Wildcats defender. Martinland. Saved by goalie of number eight, Fred Rochuk. Fred Rochuk passes it off to number, number 15, Everett, the LSM. And defender. Nice job by Matthews for protecting the ball. Pass it to the middle. Shot it goal. Once again, Vikings doing it again. Number ten, Peter Gee. Face off, getting set again. Spinelli's first face off loss. Perez with his first face off win. And number five of Rivera's charging up the field. Rivera, Rivera rips it. And go! Rivera doing it all by himself. Impressive job by Rivera. Right now it's four to zero Vikings. Four goals on the first half. Right now it's six minutes. Now Rivera is doing the face off job. Giving Perez to break. Rivera's going up against Spinelli once again. Early start by per not Perez, excuse me. Rivera. Now gives Spinelli the ball. Spinelli charging up the field slowly. Passing it off to Cagnon. Cagnon gets poke checked by Rivera. Cagnon. Number seven of Sebastian 
Urizoko has the ball. Now Chaganon passes it off. But a nice defensive choke. I mean, check by number 44. Dylan Martinville. Martinville with not so of a good pass. But it gives Spinelli and the Cranston East the Wildcats the ball. Spinelli to Chaganon. 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 Chaganon trying to do something here. Chaganon. But it gets saved. By number 22, Brandon Ward. Number zero, Jade Norton up is not starting a goal today. Spinelli has the ball once again for the Wildcats. The Wildcats this year are a mix of people from the Cranston East and Johnson High School. That's where you get the name of Thundercats. Jaden Kaganon passes it to number 13 of Wilson Chingano. Chingano. Chingo, I meant to say. Rogers, a little bit too left though, but it but it stays Rogers' possession. Rogers, ref blows play dead. Signals number seven of Rocky Ramsey to get back towards a red line. Ramsey. Ramsey looking for an open player. Passes it around. Passing it off to number nine of Matthews. Matthews. Then we're back to Ramsey. Back over to Matthews. Pass inside. An impressive block. By number eight, Federal Rook. Flag by the Wildcats defenders. Number six of Rodez is showing the disbelief to the ref. Technical push going against Rodez, and it's a timeout call. We'll be back right after these announcements. Welcome back, everybody, to this Division Four contest between between the Currents and Ease and Johnston Wildcats versus the Rogers Vikings. If you're just joining today, my name is Jake Lamantz here, your play-by-play -play announcer. And to, to my right is the one and the only Alan Jen, your camera guy for tonight. Number six of Johan Rodas is serving a 30-minute tech. I mean, 30-second technical. For that push that you saw earlier. Technical play. And he showed his disbelief to the ref. Right now it's. Right now. 
coach, head coach of the Wildcats, Matthew Davis, had a lot to say to the Wildcats. And shot, and score! Once again, the Wildcats doing it. Number 14 of Nick Bonico doing it again for the Vikings. Faceoff is getting set again. Spinelli versus Rivera. Spinelli with a nice win. Picked up by number six of Rodas. No, but Rivera does it again. Second goal. Eight seconds is all it took for that second goal. Second goal in eight seconds. Impressive work by the Vikings. And it's only the first period. Spinelli versus Perez. Spinelli with the nice win. Spinelli with a nice ground ball. Spinelli taking it up slowly but surely for the Wildcats. Spinelli. Spinelli. Back to Chaganon. Chaganon! Nice impressive save by number 22, Brighton Ward. Mr. Ward is doing a fantastic job today. Number 7 of the Wildcats, Orizako, has the ball. Orizako with a missed drop. And right now, number six of Dated Treads. Dated Treads is all over Orozaco. Dated Treads with a nice ground ball pickup. Trying to get it out, though. But now it's Crates and East and Johnson Wildcats ball. Chingo. Chingo just got blocked by number 44 of Dylan Marvley. Impressive job by Mr. Marvley. Running behind Chingo and just swatting that ball out of his stick. Passing it along. Oh, and there's a drop ball. Perez. Perez with a nice dodge. Perez to Matthews. Matthews with another nice dodge. Back over to number 10 of Peter Gee, though, but Peter Gee couldn't, couldn't finish that catch. Now number 12 of Martinland. Martinland. Ground ball pick up by the Vikings. Perez has the ball. Mr. Perez. Back over to number 10 of Gee. Back over to number 7 of Ramsey. The way he couldn't. But he missed the catch. Giving the Wildcats the ball once again. One twenty four left to go in the first period. Spinelli with the ball once again. Spinelli trying to pass it off to Chagnon. Recovers it for, recovers a funky pass. Chagnon running past the defender. Vikings defender. Chagnon all alone in the X. Number twenty four of JD McDonald. Slowly creeping up, though, but right now, number five of Rivera has the ball. Rivera. Oh, nice dodge by Rivera. Rivera again. Mr. Rivera passing it off all alone. Rogers, and they couldn't capitalize. Nice job by number eight, Fedrock. 
the goalie for the Wildcats. And Vikings again. And another impressive job by Fedrock of the Wildcats. Nice ground ball by the Vikings. Number three, Spinelli has the ball. Running away past the Vikings defender. Now the Wildcats are charging up the field. Spinelli gets poked by the, one of the Rogers players. Number 14, Nick Bodycoat. Perez. I mean, not Perez. Rivera getting the ground ball once again. Rivera. That will end it for the first period. Six Vikings, zero Wildcats. We'll be back after the first period break. Welcome back to the second period, everybody. Welcome to this contest of the Rhode Island Interscholastic League period. I meant Division 4, Boys Lacrosse. And if you're just joining, my name is Jake Lamantia, your play by play announcer. To your right is Alan Chen, the one and the only cameraman. Rivera with the nice win, though, but it's picked up by number 4. Wildcat. And the refs throwing a flag. And this may be penalty on number five, David Rivera. Excuse me there. First penalty of the day for the Vikings. Number four, Car Connor Niles. Passing it off to Jaden Chagnon. David Chagnon. Pass when the East pass when to the Rogers defend I'm at the attack man. This pass there. Viking the Vikings. Nice job by Body Co on the recovery for the Vikings. Body Co taking his sweet time. Body Co passing it off to Martinland. Body Co. Nice save by number eight, Fred Rock. Now, number six of Rodas has it. Rivera. This pass to Gee. with the ball. 
D. Getting pressured by number 14 of Nick Bennett. Number 5 of Rivero. Let's ground ball pick up. And the reps had something to say about that. Throwing a flag on the field. And now... Number 14 of Nick Bennett is going going to the box. Vikings man of possession. My apologies about that. Rivera. To Matthews. Back to Rivera. Back to Matthews. Inside. And goal! Marty Land. First goal of the night. Seven zero Vikings. Face off is being set, Spinella. Spinello versus Perez. Spinello with a nice face off win. Spinella can't get the ground ball. Getting pressured by the Vikings. Now it's back to Spinella. Spinella's a ball. Spinella back to Chagnon. Chagnon bring it up the field. Chagnon with the nice dodge. And Chagnon with the rip. No, but nice save by, by Ward. Ward with the pass to Gee. Gee got laid out by by number nine, Vulture. Right now we got the little scrum going on, and it's back to Vikings possession. Vikings are in the black jerseys and the black shorts. Thundercats are in the white jerseys. Jerseys in black, and, and I'm at green shorts. Back to Rivera. Rivera. Back to Guy. Guy. Back to number 11 of Mason Walker. Walker. Back to Ramsey. Back to Martinland. Martinland. Back to Rivera. Fair taking it back out. Back to Gee. Gee with the miss catch there. Oh, wait, sorry, that's not Gee. That's number 11 of Mason Walker. Rivera. Rivera looking around. Back over to Perez. Miss catch opportunity there. And now it's a race to the ball. And now Chagnon has it. Speeding up the field. And a mispossession inside. Wow. And now it's back to Vikings possession. Number 24 of Dating McDowell is going to be starting off with the ball. McDowell passing it off to Rivera. Rivera with the miscatch. Opportunity. Oh boy. Rivera with a nice poke check. Rivera. Couldn't keep it in his stick. No, but it's still Rivera's ball. I met the Vikings ball. Martin Land. Passes it to Gee. Gee gets poke checked. Thundercats bring it up the field. Thundercats and their big body. By McDowell. McDowell with a, I'm not sure if that was a pass or a shot, but I'm going to say it's a pass for now. Well, 
Wildcats with a rip. With a pass that's a rip. Back into the offensive zone. McDowell trying to get possession. Now the Wildcats with the possession. Nice po check. Now there's a little scrum going on. And another poke check. But number 14 of Nick Bennett. Timeout. Timeout called. We'll be back after these. We'll be back momentarily. everybody after this timeout that we just had. If you're just joining us, my name's Jake Lamancy, your play-by-play -play announcer, and to my right is Alan Chen, the one, the only, one of the best camera people. And let's get ready for some Rhode Island Interscholastic League Division 4 lacrosse. Vikings bring it up the field. Miss pass opportunity. Number nine, Matthews. Matthews. Back over to Ramsey. Ramsey. Back over to Gee. Gee drops the ball. Now we have a scrum going on. Nice po check by Martinland. Martinland. Now we have more of a scrum. Ben Bennett. Has possession now. Bennett drops it out of bounds. Giving the Vikings the possession. If you're just joining, today's game is sponsored by Warrior Lacrosse. One of the best manufacturers in the game. Buy, buy their gear, sticks, and extra accessories on their website or at a sports store near you. Let's get back to the game. Rivera shoots and scores! Rivera doing it again. Absolutely bang after bang. Making the Wildcats look silly. Timeout called by the Wildcats. We'll be back after a word from our sponsors. Sponsors.
Welcome back, everybody, to this Rhode Island Inches Classically Division 4 Boys Lacrosse, presented by Warrior Lacrosse, one of the best manufacturers in the game. Shop there online or in stores near you for their gear, sticks, or other extra apparel accessories. Now we got the face off Spinelli versus Perez. And Spinelli. Again. Now, here comes Spinelli. Passing it to number 20. Tyler Diotti. Diotti. The midfielder. And attack move for the Wildcat. Now we got a little scrum going on. Perez trying to get the ground ball. But, but, but to no avail. Still scrum going on. And it goes off of assistant coach Stephen McGuire. Eighteen of Connor Anderson. And one a little bit too early. Now it's Wildcats ball. Anderson to Spinella. Oh wait, sorry. Not Spinella. Number six of Johan Rodas. Flag down. Let's see who it's on. Number six of needed threats is in the box with the penalty. Wildcats going in. And an impressive save by Ward. Brick by brick for Ward. Vikings saying it off to the attackmen. No, sorry, midfield. Rivera. Rivera with a nice dodge. Gee. Gee, they say by Frederick of the Wildcats. Frederick passes it to number seven to Orozako. Back to number four of Niles. Back to Chagdon. One of the captains for the Wildcats this year. Chagdon. Now the Vikings are bringing it up the field. And off of the head of a Wildcats defender, number 10, Logan Brandon. Brandon. Mr. Brandon. Brandon. Pass inside. Gee. Could it could it capitalize? Nice save by number eight, Frederick. Martinland, Martinland, Martinland with but some impressive jukes or dodges, as they call it in lacrosse. Martinland with a stop by the Wildcats defender. Now we have another scrum. Now it's off the head of Fred Rock, and it's Wildcats ball. Brennan is bringing, bringing it, it, my apologies, bringing it up for the Wildcats. Number 15 of Everett has the ball, getting double teamed by two attackmen. Everett. Charging is th charging through, passing it to Chagnon. Chagnon couldn't get the pass. Rogers ball once again. Two 
235 to go in the second quarter. Vikings. Bring it up the field. Pass to Martin Lands, and Martin Lands gets laid out by Vulture of the Wildcats. Vulture to Chagnon. Chagnon. Chagnon with a missed shot. Though by number 13 of Chingo has the ball. Chagnon. Press of judge by Chagnon. Uh, I think that went in. No goal. Ward passing it off to number five of Rivera. Martin Lant. Shoots and scores. Martin Land, second goal. Of a new face off guy. Number four, Niles. Going, going up against number 15, the Perez. Flag down. Perez. And out of bounds. And now let's see who the flag is on. Flag is on number 15. Number 15 of Joshua Everett. Serving time on the box. Martin Land. To Gee. Gee. Now there's a scrum. Back to number four. Number four of Niles. Perez. Getting heavy pressured. Number 15, Perez. Trying to get that ground ball. And it's back to Perez and the Vikings. And a nice hit on So Young of the Wildcats. And one and zero. Nine Vikings. Zero Wildcats will be back after the second intermission.
Welcome back, everybody, to this lacrosse game. Brought out in the Interscholastic Leagues Division 4 boys lacrosse matchup between the Wildcats of Cranston East and Johnston High School versus Rogers Vikings. If you're just joining, my name is Jake Lamancia, and to your right is Alan Chen. Right now, it's 7 to 0. Oh, wait, sorry. 9 to 0. Vikings. If they get three more, the Vikings will have running clock, which is a bad sign for the Wildcats. Wildcats. This game is presented by Warrior Lacrosse, best manu manufacturer in the game. Shop their online store or their in store affiliates. Right now, Rogers, Rogers Lacrosse is one and one for the season. Season, excuse me, looking for their second win this season. And right now, the Thundercats are zero and five. I mean, I, I meant sorry, zero and five, four. Face off is getting set. And Rivera with a nice win. They'll put the Wildcats in possession. Charging it up the field. Wildcats. Oh! Chagnon with the ball. Rips. And there's the first goal of the game for the Wildcats. Chagnon doing his thing and scoring that goal. Mr. Chagnon is back on the face-off once again. Chagnon versus Rivera. Rivera. Couldn't get it. Chagnon with the nice ground ball pickup. Chagnon. Passes it off to number seven of Orozako. Orozako lost possession. Trying to get it back. Nice ground ball by Orozako. Ward with a nice stop and save. Number 24 of Jay McDonald. Couldn't pick it up. Here comes Chingo. Back to Ward. Ward with a nice pass to Rivera. Couldn't, couldn't catch it. Martland. Back over to Gee. Gee with a nice rip. Gee -hee. Mr. Gee -hee. did it again. First goal of Gee of Gee this game. Face off opportunity. And Perez with the win. There was a push by number four of Niles. Give it Vikings the ball back. The Vikings passing it off to Martland, number twelve. Back to Gee. Gee. Loses possession. Rodas lost his possession. Rodas with a nice ground ball. Rodas. Leading the way. Perez right behind him. And Rodas loses the ball. Number 44 of Dylan McCarvely. Marvley. My apologies. Marvley. And with the missed opportunity there for the shot. But Rogers still has the ball. Ramsey. Bringing it back up the field. Back over to Martland. 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 With nice dodges. And another goal.
two more points until when a running clock begins for the Vikings, which is a good sign. Perez versus Spinelli. Spinelli with another win. Perez is on him. Spinelli charging his way through Perez. Per Spinelli with a shot, nobody got saved by Mr. Ward. Marvelly, bring it up. Marvelly, moving around the East Tackman. I met the Wildcat Defenderman. I met the Tackman of the Wildcats. Heartland. Oh, nice dodge. And not a great shot. But it's still Rogers' possession. Back over to Ramsey. Ramsey. To the middle. Gee. And no good. Your number 11, or Walker, has it. Walker. Lost the position once again. Walker. Walker. Loses possession. Breaded with a nice pokes and checks to get the possession back for the Wildcats. Brennan with the long shot. I'm at long pass. Spinelli. Here comes Spinelli. Chagnon. Ooh. Chagnon. Missed shot there by number four, Connor, Connor Niles. Missed opportunity there by number 13, Wilson Chingo. Intercepted by an attackman. Number seven. Orizako. Orizako. Drives in. And no good. And. S uh. We'll be back after this injury report. Good. And number four of Connor Niles gets possession of the ball. Niles. Niles passing it to Chingo. Though, but that wasn't a good pass. Marvelly has it. Back to Ward. Ward with the skyrocket pass. Gee. Misses to pass. Marmanland misses to recovery. Now we have a scrum between both teams. Spinelli charging his way up the field. Spinelli. 
Martin Land. Martin Land with a nice body. And fly got Martin Land. Charging will be the call. Technical. 30 second penalty will be assessed. Assessed. Spinelli. Spinelli passing it to the middle. Back to Chagnon. Chagnon. With a impressive save by Mr. Ward. Ward with another skyrocket pass to Martland. Martland. To Gee. Gee. With one goal already. Gee. Back to Martinland. Martland. Back to the middle, and no good. Rivera. A Rivera with a nice rip to the net. Good job by Rivera. Impressive step by him. Now we have another face off of the face off of face off opportunity. And Spinelli with another face off win. Spinelli taking his time. Nice swim dodge by Spinelli. Spinelli. And Spinelli to Chagnon. Number six of Rodas couldn't get the ground ball. But nice pressure by him on number 11 of Walker. And Perez gets the ground ball though, but loses it. Back to number 20 of Tyler Diotti. Diotti loses it back over to Nathan Threat. Walker. Walker, going through their defense, the ball loses it. Chagnon, off of the head of threat. Spinelli, but possession again. Spinelli, back to Chagnon. Chagnon, with the goal! Nice job by Mr. Chagnon. And now the Vikings need two more goals. Wait, sorry, three more goals to get a running clock. Oh, but the Thunderbolts, I mean, not the Thunderbolts, the Thundercats are not giving it to them. Spinelli gets Perez. Perez. I mean, Spinelli wins the face off. Spinelli. Back to Chagnon. Chagnon rips it over the net. And it's back to Thundercats ball. Number 15, a Josiah Everett. But not Josiah Everett. Sebastian Orzako pass it. Now he has the ball back. Orzako loses possession. Now Rodas gets in the middle. Of the butt. Now we have a shot by number seven Orzako. Ward. Back to number 24 of Jay McDowell. Jay McDowell running up the floor. I'm at the field. Jay McDowell. And nope. Nice sportsmanship there by the Wildcats, helping Mr. McDowell up. Now twenty-two of Gabriel Daya. Oh wait, 
it. Sorry. Logan Brennan has the ball. Logan Brennan. Skybrook can sit back to the Techman. Rodas with a missed call opportunity. And now we have a scrum. And Rodas couldn't get the ground ball. And now Orzako. Orzako and out of bounds. Dylan Marvelly will get the ball back for the Vikings. And Threat has the ball. Threat moving it up the field. Threat loses possession. Now we're back to the Vikings. And a new player has scored for the Vikings. That new player is number 32, Kevlin Rivera. Brother of David Rivera, number 5. Now the Wildcats only need one more goal left to go until when they get that running clock. Two Rivera's have a goal this game. And there's not going to be a face-off. I guess Spinelli wins automatically. That's strange. Chagdon. Back to Chagdon. Chagdon. Spinelli. Spinelli taking his time. Chagdon. With tight defense from Rogers. Chagdon. And nice save by Mr. Ward. Brick by brick for Mr. Ward today. Marvelly with a skyrocket pass to the attackman. And Ramsey couldn't get it. So we're back to the Thundercats possession. Brennan. Mr. Brennan. Could have passed it in time. Grab ball possession by Martinland. Martinland! And goal! Martinland! And now, you know about that non-stopping shot clock. It is going into effect right now. So as you see on your screen, no time stopping. We're up by 12. Now Rivera, the other Rivera, Kelvin Rivera, is taking a face off against Mr. Spinelli. Mr. Spinelli with the win. And... Spinelli. Back to Rodas. Nice check by Dale Marvelly. Marvelly. And, Ro and Rivera trying to get back the ball back. But Orozaco has it. Orozaco. Back to number one of Timothy Ling. Orozaco. And flag. And the flag is down, and Niles has the ball. Niles. Missed pass there, the but Marvelly has it. And let's see who the flag is on. Number twenty, number twenty-four, Roy of Jay McDowell is in the box. Or Zacco, Spinelli, Spinelli with a rip, two left, and he misses. The number four, Kyle now, Noels. Sorry, Niles has the ball back. 
Now we have th three, two, one, zero. That'll be it for the third period. That'll be it for the third period, everybody. I'll be back. We'll be back after these announcements. Back to the fourth period. Period, period everybody. Thirteen to two. That last goal did not count. If you're just joining, my name's Jake Lamanti, your play-by-play -play announcer. And to my right is the one and the only Alan Chen on the camera today for you guys. Like, subscribe, follow of our social medias, and especially our YouTube page. It means a lot for your support. Now let's get back to this RILL Division 4 contest of the boys lacrosse between the Thunderbolts and the Vikings. Wildcats start off with possession. Chagnon. Mr. Chagnon. Passing it over to number four of Niles. Niles. Now Vikings have the ball once again. Number 14 of Body coat has it. Body coat loses the possession. And now it's back to number six. Wilson Chingo. Chingo. He's dodging through Mr. Body coat. Back over to number four of Niles. Niles. Back over to Ching. Ching. No, that's not Chingo. But no. Sorry about that. That is Chagnon. Chagnon. This is Chagnon. Back over to number three of Spinelli. Spinelli. Spinelli with a shot. And it's over Mr. Ward and the goalie's head. I'm at the goal's head. I'm at the goal post. <laughs> My apologies there, everybody. Now, a Wildcat player is bringing it up, number 7, Orizaco, back over to Chagnon, too high for Chagnon, and now it's going back to the Vikings, and Mr. Bodycoat has possession, Mr. Bodycoat, Mr. Bodycoat, back over to num number 5, Rivera, and it's David Rivera, not Kelvin Rivera. And Mr. Rivera puts it over the head of Ramsey, giving Thundercats the possession once again. Impressive job by the Wildcats and the Vikings this game, putting up a good contest of Division 4. And number six of Threats has it, or Zarko couldn't get the poke check. Now we have number five, Rivera, bringing it up the field for the Wildcats. Rivera.
Back to Mr. Body Coat. Body Coat. Back over to Martland. He has two goals today. Impressive job by Martland. Now we're back over to Body Coat. Brennan. The refs are pointing where, where Brennan should be standing. Brennan. Mr. Brennan. Brennan. Skyrockets a pass to Orzaco, though, but no match for Mr. Rivera. Mr. Rivera charging up the field once again. Back over to Martland. So, but Martin Land, I'm at Martland. Misses the pass, and now it's back over to the Thunderbolts. I mean, not Thunderbolts. Thunder, Thundercats. Ball. Another skyrocket pass over the offense of the Thundercats. So, but they couldn't pick it up. Or Zako. Gets laid out, giving Thundercats possession once again. The ref blowing the play dead. Back over to... Never mind. I thought it was back over to Rogers, though, but... Now we got Wilson Chingo. Mr. Chingo, and... Back over to Vikings. Vikings possession once again. They always had possession of the ball all the time today in this very highly contested matchup of the Rhode Island Interscholastic League Division Four Boys Lacrosse. Maryville, back over to Ward. Mr. Ward. Ward coming out of his crease. Ward. Over to Martinland. So but couldn't get it. Though but luckily for him, falls it to Rivera. Gee. Oh no! He gets poke checked. Rivera has the ball though. Mr. Rivera. Rivera getting pressured by the Thundercats defense. Rivera with the shot and the goal. Now, what I was telling you to earlier about the 12 point thing about what the rest were saying when the it, Either or team gets 12 points. It's a running clock. So that means this clock don't stop. The arena, the scoreboard in the Cranston Stadium don't stop. And it will stay like that way till the Thundercats can get a point. Or cut the deficit down to 12. Rivera versus Spinelli. Kelvin Spinera, Kelvin Rivera couldn't do it. Though, but he gets his ground ball. Kelvin Rivera bringing it up the field. Though, but gets poke checked by number 15 of Josiah Everett. Josiah Everett bringing it down. Though, but gets poke checked by number 6 of Nidy and Threats. Nidy and Threats loses it. Though, but gets picked up again by Mr. Threats. Threats. Mr. Threats. Kicking and picking it up. Martland, back, passing into the middle of Ramsey, slicing and dicing like Gordon Ramsey, Rocky Ramsey does it again for the Wildcats, and now it cuts a deficit back over to 13, 13 points, the Wildcats are trailing, now it's Back over to Kelvin Rivera, who will be going over, sorry, who will be facing against Spinelli in this face-off matchup. Spinelli is urging both players of number six, number six of just Jordan Rodas, and number 20 of Tyler Diazzi to switch sides, and early start by Kelvin Rivera, 
Mr. Rivera is playing tight defense on Spinelli. Spinelli is one of the best players on the Wildcats so far, in my opinion. He is one of the best players on Johnson's football team. And now he's one of the best players on the Wildcats. And Spinelli tries to lay the body on Rivera, though, but Rivera did not budge, though, but right now it's Spinelli's ball. Mr. Spinelli. Spinelli. Back over number six of Rodas. Rivera. Rivera to Walker, though, but he wasn't looking at Rivera's way. Walker has the ball again. Walker. Oh, but it gets poke checked by Rodas, and Rodas has the ball. Rodas taking it up the field. Rodas with the poke check. Now there's a huge scrum. And Rodas gets laid out by Merrillville. And number 24, uh, McDowell has the ball. McDowell's charging up the field, moving against, moving away from the defenders of the Thundercats. Martland. Back over to Gee. Gee! Couldn't do it. And now it's back over to Rogers' ball. 4.52 left to go in the, in the fourth period. This has been one of the best games that I get to call this year. My opinion. <sighs> Now it's Martland. Back over to back over to Walker. Walker. Back over to Ramsey. Back inside to Martland, but he misses the catch. Now it's a race to the ball, but number eighteen of Connor Anderson gets the ball and timeout. Timeout is called by Rogers. We'll be back after a word from our sponsors. Rogers lacrosse. They are the they are on a hot streak right now with fifteen points against the Thundercats two points. Right now they just called the timeout up thirteen points. I don't know what for though, but never know. Four oh nine left to go in the fourth period. If you're just joining us right now, my name is Jake Lamancy, your play by play announcer. And to my right is the one, the only, and the legend, Alex Chen. I meant Alan Chen. My apologies, Alan. Now, Matthews is starting off with the ball, as you see right over there. Matthews. And now the running clock rule still applies, and Matthews takes it by himself, and I nice say by number eight of Forda Rock. No, but a goal scored by number nine of Matthews. Wow. Cutting this deficit down to 14. Vikings right now are dominating over the Thundercats. 
Spinelli is going up against number nine of Matthews. He just scored one. One goal. Impressive job by Matthews today and all the Vikings on their win today. I think it's safe to say they call this a win, my opinion. Matthews against Spinelli. Spinelli. Will he win? And Matthews with the first win of... Matthews. Matthews showing off his face-off skill. And it's back over to Rodgers' possession. Now we have 2.48 left to go in the fourth period. Right today, Today's live stream is sponsored by Warrior Lacrosse, one of the best manufacturers in the game of lacrosse. By, by their lacrosse sticks, gear, and other accessories on their website or, a part, or shop in store on one of their affiliates affiliate stores and let's get back to this game Spinelli running through th running through the defense of Vic of the Vikings An old match Rivera fast break opportunity three on five Rivera taking it by himself nice save by Florida Rock and he just gets put back in by Martland Martland with a hat trick. No, sorry, four points today. Martland, wow. This is just impressive. Impressive by the Rogers Vikings. Wow. Just impressive. Speechless right now on the Vikings play right now in their perspective. All right, and now we got. The brother of David Rivera, Kelvin Rivera, losing the face off to Jay Kaganon. Kaganon with the shot missed. He missed that shot opportunity there. But right now it's back to uh, the Thundercats' possession. Thundercats. Back over to Osorako. Now we got a scrum, though, but Osorako has it. Osorako. Missed pass opportunity to number six. I mean, num not number six, number 13 of Wilson Chingo. Mr. Chingo missed a pass there, as you just saw, giving, giving the ball back to McDowell and the Vikings. McDowell to Ward. Ward with the skyrocket pass over to number two. Number two of CJ Steph Ford. Passing it over to Martinland. Couldn't capitalize there. But back over to number eight of Ford Forderock. And Martinland has the ball. And, and he gets his fifth point of this contest. Impressive job by Martinland, in my opinion. Right now, this lead has been cut to 16 for the Vikings. And now that is game. My name is Jake Lamanti, your play-by-play -play announcer for today's matchup. And there is Al and my friend over here, Alan Chen, was your camera guy. Thank you for joining, and good night, everybody.